Voila. Okay, you guys, so I actually forgot to really show you what I did before I put it in the oven. And basically, I just threw some olive oil down and then flipped the um, butternut squash halves upside down on that. And then, um, yeah, I set it to 425 and then that seemed to be pretty hot. So I turned it down to uh, 415 and then um, they have been in here for 60 minutes and about five minutes ago, I turned the heat off and I'm just gonna let them sit in there until I pick the kids up from school. So, well, yeah. Yeah, they're just gonna sit in there. Oven's off. Butternut squash is in there. So I'm gonna go pick the big kids up from school. Uh-oh, what was that sound? No, no. So anyways, back to the butternut squash soup. I'm gonna use some um, vegetable stock that I have. I have a pint of um, chicken bone broth, bone stock, whatever it is. It's a carcass that was in my freezer. And so um, I cooked it down and made some bone broth the other day. And we're gonna use that to make our butternut squash soup and it's gonna be delicious and tasty, and it's the kids' favorite. So I'm gonna sneak some vegetables in there. And uh, of course, since I said doesn't want butternut squash. Um, which reminds me, I should have, I'm gonna roast some onions real quick too. Um, and maybe some carrots and some other things. So do that. Shoot, I have a potato. Ah. It's not too late. I can throw all that stuff in the oven real fast and um, it'll be ready to blend up in the blender and we'll have a delicious veggie filled soup that's gonna be so tasty. What's happened? What? what have you done? Her foot. I see her foot. What have you done? Did you see? I know what it was. What? She saw you get under here earlier. <laughs> okay, I'm getting ya. Yep, I'm still trying to get dinner done. Potatoes. Uh, I'm gonna do some carrots and onions too, real quick. Okay, but once this is cool off, I'll be able to easily, you can see, it's really hot though right now. You can easily peel off all this skin, but I'm gonna let it cool off a little bit. See, too hot, and I'm still trying to do it. I'm like, ah, hurry up, hurry up. Burn, burn, burn. Okay, we are gonna go pick the kids up from school now, so this should be fun. I, they made it to the end of the day, nobody got sick. Um, we're just driving up dirt road up our driveway, so. Yeah, don't worry, I'm not on a road. We have like three more minutes before we can even go in there. Okay? Monica. Oh no, where'd she go? Where'd she go? Right there. Stay right there. She's pointing right there. Right there. Shoes. New shoes. New shoes. 
Not really new shoes, those were Hagen shoes. I, I just kept them because I loved them. Hey Riker, what did you get at school today? Outstanding. Outstanding. I double checked his paper. He did really good today. Nice, then they can start helping. Roasted vegetables, butternut squash. I've been feeding it to the baby. Um, we've got our bone broth right there, and then we're gonna use some vegetable stock too. We have tossed all the roasted vegetables and butternut squash into the Instapot, and then we topped it to fill the line up to the seven um, cup mark with vegetable stock and bone broth. Also, I put uh, about a pinch or two of nutmeg in there. I put a pinch of cinnamon in there, um, salt and pepper to taste, and more if needed after it's done cooking. I added uh, three small green apples from the tree outside. And uh, let's see, what else? That's about it, I'm just gonna let it cook for a few minutes and then I'm gonna blend it all up and serve it. Apples to butternut squash is about a three to one ratio. So I put three apples in there and I have one large butternut squash. Okay, so the soup has cooled down enough and stopped bubbling and you don't want your soup boiling when you use an immersion blender. You want your soup calm before you stick your immersion blender in it because if you start blending when it's boiling, it's going to spit back at you boiling hot soup. Okay, so I'm going to be using this beautiful KitchenAid immersion blender. It's my favorite kitchen tool. I actually use it um, my coffee my coffee grinder broke. So I use this in a mason jar to grind coffee with. It is really like I no longer put soup in my Vitamix to blend it up. I just use this immersion blender for all of my soups that the kids like blended. That's what I'm talking about. It just splattered all over me. All over me. Might have to add some vegetable stock. You always want to make sure it's immersion. coconut milk. I've added a little bit more broth, a little bit, let's see, a little bit of coconut milk, not a lot, but we'll see how this goes over. There. So I just wanted to thin out the soup a little bit, make it a little bit more creamy, and I think that did just the trick. So this is about the consistency that you want for your butternut squash soup. Oops. Oops. Well, dinner is served. We've got butternut squash soup for each of the three big kids, and Annika's gonna nurse and go down for a nap. Got some sourdough bread, one, two, three. And this is gonna get them started while I put her down for a nap.